The Ralston QTHP hydraulic hand pump can produce test pressures up to 5,000 PSI using a variety of fluid media. It's an easy process to operate. Let's take a look at how it works. To build pressure with the QTHP, first we'll need to prime the pump. Start by removing the vent plug and filling the reservoir. You can use Ralston calibration oil, mineral oil, transmission fluid, water, or alcohol. Make sure to fill up the reservoir enough to cover the inlet check valve in the bottom of the pump. Next, connect the vent plug and connect the gauge to the Ralston quick test port on top of the pump. We'll use the Ralston quick test outlet port to connect to the device with a quick test hose. Ralston quick test connections remove the need for any tools or tape to create a secure connection to the device. Now we'll prime the pump and fill the hose with fluid. Open the vent valve to allow any liquid in the gauge to flow back into the pump. Then close the bleed valve. Flutter the pump handle three or four times. Open the bleed valve and watch for air bubbles coming out of the bleed port. Repeat this process until no bubbles appear and liquid comes out of the end of the hose. This may take three or four tries. Now we connect to our device under test and pressurize the system. With the vent valve closed tightly, we can actuate the pump until we are close to our first test point. Let the system pressure stabilize as the fluid will warm under pressure and the reading will drop as it cools. When we get close to a test point, we can dial in the exact pressures with the fine adjust vernier. Repeat the process of pumping and venting as needed to reach your test points. If you're done with your tests, you can disconnect the hose from the pump and drain it. If it will be some time before your next tests, remove the vent plug and drain the reservoir as well. For more information about our hand pumps and other products, check out our other videos or visit RalstonInst.com.